Hey everybody, it has been a minute since I've made a video because I have been in a bad way. So here's what happened. I had shingles. If you look at some of my like most recent videos, like all here on my jaw, I was covering it with makeup, but all here on my jawline, I had shingles. I had no idea that's what it is. Like I've gotten cold sores before, like on my mouth or, and like it's even like trickled down a little bit to my chin. So I just assumed that it was a cold sore gone awry. Boy, was I mistaken. So, you know, we like to keep it as simple as possible. Not trying to go to the doctors more than necessary. So I was having this incessant static in my ear and I could not get rid of it. It was making me insane. It still is. I, I have it right now as I'm speaking. So I had this terrible static in my ear and my husband and I, we've done like home remedies for like earwax. I know it's gross, but um, like if you mix like a quarter teaspoon baking soda with like a little bit of warm water and you just drop it in your ear like with a dropper, like just let it sit and then you dump it out, gets rid of earwax. Like, you know, sometimes sometimes if it gets away from you whatever like if you have static or a clicking in your ear or something that might be why anyway so we tried that to no avail so we go to the general practitioner and i was not nasally like i am right now so anyway so i feel like i'm okay which is like the story of my life up here i think i'm okay but like my body's like no you're not so we go to the general practitioner and I'm telling um, it was the nurse. We saw the nurse. So we're speaking to the nurse practitioner. I'm telling her about my ear and I'm like, ah, it's making me nuts. So she looks in my ear and thank God, A-okay, clean as a whistle because we did the earwax kit. No earwax, no infection. So I was like, Jeez, like what the heck? So everybody's like, oh, stumped. Like nobody has any idea what's going on. But then they saw the, I didn't have makeup on at the time, my hideous outbreak on my chin, which wasn't that bad. Like she was like, oh, I was thinking maybe it's shingles. Do you have any, you know, nasal problems or congestion? At the time, I did not. So... Things have since changed, clearly. But, so, she mentioned shingles. She mentioned shingles. So, my husband and I go home, start doing our own research. I'm sorry. So, wouldn't you know, it was shingles. It was definitely shingles. Upon further research, we were like, there's no way it wasn't shingles. Like, Based off of what it looked like and the pictures that we found doing our research on the internet, definitely shingles on my face and the static in my ear is because I have all this congestion, like I didn't realize it at the time. I guess my sinuses were so stuffed that I just didn't even notice it. But as it's like breaking up and all the mucus is coming out, gross, I know. But like it's loosening up and the static is like more prominent. And it's definitely the core, it's definitely connected. So that's what's going on with me. So yes, I'm 39 and I got shingles. Wow. Like I've always joked that I have this geriatric body 39 going on 93 but the struggle is real it's real I legit had shingles but here's the thing a lot of people associate shingles with pain I didn't have any pain it was itchy as heck but no pain 
I don't, and like, you know, the doctor's like, oh, do you have any, like, compromised, like, is your sensation compromised in your face or anything because of the MS? I was like, no, not at all. Like, I feel things. Um, just itchy. It was just itchy. I didn't have pain. Maybe that's like the younger version of shingles. I don't know. I thought that, oh my God, I thought like I had chicken pox when I was little. I was like, oh, I'm in the clear. I'll, I don't need to worry about shingles. Not the case. Apparently, if you have chicken pox when you're younger, you have the shingles virus within you and it will come out. So you're more at risk. I was like, oh, that sucks. And then I, as I was researching all of this, I learned that like shingles is kind of correlated to the herpes virus. Gross. But, um, you know, like the cold sores that you get on your mouth, it's, it's like a, a distant cousin or something. So that's why they look similar. So that's why I was confused. And I thought that the shingles was a, a cold sore gone baddie. Because I had the... Here's what happened. So I had the cold sore and I put like zit cream on it. Because I was like, oh, it just looked like a zit. And, or it wasn't a cold sore. Excuse me. I thought it was a cold sore. I initially thought it was a pimple, so I put zit cream on it. So, I've done that before with a cold sore, and it just makes it so angry. And, like, it, like, burns it. I don't know what the heck it does. But, so, I assumed, I assumed that that's what I did this time. I was like, oh, shoot, it's a cold sore, and I put zit cream on it, and it blew up, and it got all angry. But... It was shingles. I still have like, you don't know if you could, I still have one here. I have makeup on it though. But uh, this one is like lingering. It doesn't want to go away. But I don't know. And then I was talking to my girlfriend and she was like, yeah, you're like the third person that I've spoken to that's younger that has gotten shingles. I was like, really? Well, that makes me feel better. But let's talk about being sick on top of the existing situation I have going on. So it's like insult to injury. Um, and every time I get the darn flu shot, I feel like things spiral out of control. Never getting the flu shot again. Mark my words. Knock it. Every year I do it. And every year I'm like, I'm not getting it again. And I do. Not doing it. Michelle, you're not getting the flu shot next year. Note to self. So. I don't know. That's it. Oh, yeah. Insult to injury. It's like, you know what, though? Thank God this time. Uh, this time, or, like, I've been sick for, like, ever, it feels like. But. Not as intense, I guess I want to say, as, like, historically. Like. You know, I'm in this wheelchair and all, but generally I try to be as independent as I can. Um, I'm able to manage the bathroom when I'm alone and stuff. But like, when I had the flu, I guess it was like a couple years ago. I don't even want to remember because it was so bad. But I had the flu a couple years ago and I was like totally incapacitated. Like, my husband had to stay home and help me. I would have just been laying there peeing on myself if he did not. So, um, but this go-round, I mean, I feel like I've been sicker for a longer period of time. But I've been managing better, thank God. So, that's why I'm praying that with the Ocrevus treatment that I've done, that, you know, once I get past all this, like, sickness and... Whatever cooties I got going on, I'm praying that um, the Ocrevus is going to kick in and I'm going to start walking. So that's what I'm hoping. That's what I'm praying. Um, anyway. All right. So the shingles is real. I got it. I'm 39. And I have a sinus. I don't know if it was the flu. I don't know what was going on. 
but stay tuned. God bless you guys.